well, you should be responsible because that's what a good citizen is. It's not, no, no, you should be responsible because you need to have a deep meaning in your life to offset the suffering so you don't get bitter. And the way you do that is to bear a heavy load, you know, to get yourself in, in check for you now and for you in the future and then to do the same for your family and your community and that there's real nobility in that and there's real meaning and more the other thing that I've been suggesting to people and I also believe this is that and I think that the guys that have come to talk to me especially the ones that have had real real rough lives they really understand this if you don't get your act together and you let yourself slide then what kind of moves in to take the place of what you could have been is something that's really not good at all so it's not only that if you're living a like a dissolute life that you're not aiming at anything positive and so you don't have any real meaning and you're subsumed by anxiety and all of that and hopelessness but something kind of hellish moves in there too to to occupy that place and so then you end up making things worse and when you know one of the things i learned about studying totalitarian systems whether they were on the right or the left was that part of the reason that the totalitarian horrors of the 20th century manifested themselves was because average people didn't take on the proper responsibility. They shut their eyes when their eyes should have been open, even though they knew it. And they did and said things they knew they shouldn't have done and said. And that was what supported those horrible systems. So, you know, if you don't get your act together, then you leave a little space for hell. And I really believe that.